This is Nicole from the Professor Pearl YouTube channel and this is a vlog about the roasting yarn curl. I was planning on doing this vlog tomorrow, like starting this tomorrow, which is Friday, February 25th. But today is Thursday, February 24th, and I'm starting this vlog sooner than I anticipated. Basically, my friend Anna from Zebra Yarns had a change of plans and ended up at Naughty Land today. I was having a work from home day. I even was working out, like physically, like did a little Apple Fitness Plus workout. Not intending on coming to the Rosity yarn crawl at all today. And I thought, if Anna's at Naughty Lamb, I need to be at Naughty Lamb. She definitely enabled me by showing me some pictures on Naughty Lamb's Instagram. Because I was like being good and even staying off at Instagram today. So I have printed off my sheet and I'm going to go in and check out the yarn. My first haircut in probably like a year and a half here in a while <laughs> um not in a while like soon so i came back to get my haircut as you know i wasn't planning on going today i'm really glad i did and i don't have a lot of footage from naughty lamb in terms of like video footage because it was just like sensory overload with yarn and i was also also like emotionally processing something and um i hope we can be gentle with me in the comments here and um but i want to be honest so i was kind of like my experience was i was taken back a little bit because when i th think about the rosie yarn crawl and then i had these kind of like romanticized visions of it and it's like a very special time like fiber fumes and then I was meeting up with my friend Anna and I was like really excited. Well, when I get there, everybody had these wristbands on and they were just allowed in and I didn't have a wristband. And so I stopped to get my wristband and the woman outside of the store said, I needed proof of vaccination to get in. And that's my fault. Like I should go on the website Rosie yarn crawl and I should look at COVID-19 guidelines. I know it's like a different time, but I didn't. That's just the facts. So I was surprised and I did not have my vaccination card with me. And I was like searching and I couldn't find it. I mean, a picture of it. I, I know where it's at, at home, but I, like I don't walk around with it. <laughs> and I couldn't find it and I called my husband at work and he must have been busy you know working so he didn't answer and then I called again and left a message and meanwhile I'm like where's Anna I was like why well, should get my vaccination card like figured out first and end up getting a picture of it because my husband's always organized of course he had a picture of my he wasn't even home of course when he was at work he had a picture of my vaccine card so he texted me and i was able to and they luckily took a picture and so i get this band and so then i'm trying to figure out you know where's anna well it's not my story to tell so i won't go into it but basically i will say this 
If you're under four, I mean, if you're under five in the United States, you are not eligible for a vaccine. So whether or not you want to get your child vaccinated or not, like you can't. <laughs> I really want, personally want to get my child vaccinated, but I can't because under five, it's not eligible yet in the United States. And so if you're not vaccinated, you're not allowed in to the Rosie Yarn Crawl, no exceptions. And, you know, it was really tough. And emotionally, I like was just processing everything like for my friend and also for me personally, because the Rosie Yarn Crawl has been a thing where my husband, me and Matilda always go as like a family. And we've made plans on Saturday to go as a family and we made friends plans with a friend. So it was going to be us and our friend Andrew all in a car and we were gonna go to some stores. But if Matilda's not allowed in the store, um, I'm processing and I'm just sharing it here. So I hope we can be kind to me. On one hand, you know, I get it. Like we wanna protect our people, especially people who are like, their health can be compromised and COVID can be so challenging for them. So we want to protect them. And so I'm, you know, I'm vaccinated, double vaccinated, boosted and all that. I want to protect the people around me and I wear a mask happily. Um, but I also feel really sad and icky that my child can't go somewhere. And so I felt conflicted about whether or not I should share that on here because I didn't want to make anybody angry. Um, but I also thought that I should be honest. If I'm making a vlog, I'm making a vlog. <laughs> I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't vlog anymore or maybe I shouldn't share this. But I think like it's important to share the not so perfect things in our life. This is not Naughty Lamb's rule. Naughty Lamb is just one of several stores in a yarn crawl. This is the yarn crawl, which is separate from the yarn store. This is the yarn crawl's rule. Today is Friday at the Rosie Yarn Crawl. Where are we going? Starlight. Have you ever been there before? No, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. This is my friend Eloise. <laughs> and I'm wearing a cowl I needed. Oh, that's the, this is the honey, honey cowl. cowl. Honey yeah. Cowl. Very so, easy pattern. Love it. Knits up really well. Oh, yeah. You got your hand knit socks up too. Yeah, I have my hand knit socks. Oh, let me show those. Yeah. Two colors and I love them and they're so cozy and warm. Yep. So and we're going to mask up yes. and go. We are. <laughs> Masking up. This is Oregon. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> Eloise, how are you feeling after your starlight? Oh my gosh, luscious colors. The feel of the yarn uh -huh. is awesome. 
and the ambience of the store is like how do you choose among all that stuff yeah i just don't know it was, i went with the paris stuff because you know i'm not yeah. in paris but get it here yeah yeah i ended up we, we both thought <laughs> we yeah, yeah 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 everything i just can't wait to yeah. get it up <laughs> oh yay <laughs> yeah. Where are we headed Hi now? Where are we headed now? Ritual dyes. Doesn't this sound like a really cool day? I can't wait to see what they have in the store. Yeah, I've never been to ritual dyes. I've I only never either, so this yeah. is fun. I've only admired them from Instagram, so I'm really excited. Yep. Here we go. distinctly different three of them having their own distinct cultures in some yeah. way 
and it couldn't have been a better day, perfect weather-wise here and everything, and good food, mm -hmm. good friendships, and wonderful, beautiful, glorious yarn. I that mean, was what I was going to ask you. I was like, we use the word epic. Glorious yeah. and yes. epic yeah. all in one day. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times we use the word epic and glorious today. <laughs> epic and glorious, and I think even luscious came in there. Yeah, one yeah, time yeah, the yeah. And I bought all French yarns today. Yeah. I had no yeah. idea how beautiful they were. Before you and go, so, I need to take a little video of the yarn I've been talking nonstop about, the one you got from Ritual oh, Dyes. Yes, yes, I just yes. need to take a little video clip of that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So look oh. at this yarn, which will be a cardigan. And again, this is a French yarn. Yeah. And it is a worsted. And the color is just... It's called quartz. Quartz. It, it is a quartz mm -hmm. looking, but it just has shades of kind of whatever color it wants to be. Yeah. And it's just going to be a beautiful color. That's a good way to put it, that it's shades of whatever it wants to be. It's like kind of pink, but gray and taupe. Oh, that's good. All at one time. Yep. 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 All awesome. right, bye. <laughs> bye. I'm back from my day. Like, oh my gosh. I'm so tired that I'm having a hard time forming words. I Today's Friday of the Rosie Yarn Crawl, and this is me just arriving home from hanging out with Eloise and going to three different stores and having the most epic lunch. So we... I don't even remember how much video footage I've, got, like, I've gotten at this point, so I'm hoping... You've gotten a sense a little bit of the roasted yarn crawl, but Ellie's picked me up in the morning and we went straight away to Starlight and it's just a really well curated store, but they had a lot of La Bienemy yarn and the Cory Worsted and I always envisioned myself buying a lot of the Cory Worsted to do a big project in the book Worsted, but I have a lot of big projects like on the needles already and going to be on the needles. So I just bought one skein of that to try and try it and enjoy it. And Eloise got some La Bienemy that's gorgeous. And um, yeah, so we just had an epic time. And then we went from Starlight to Ritual Dyes. And I've been a big fan of Ritual Dyes. And like for a while, like I've had one of their knitter backpacks, like before they had a storefront store. And I, I think they opened during the pandemic. I'm not for sure, but this was their first time in the Rosie Yarn Crawl. And so it was my first time going and it was a really, really beautiful store, a nice natural light. And there was a really cool food cart next to it that had really nice options for tea and coffee and so Eloise and I got lavender lattes from there then we went to lunch at her favorite Chinese restaurant it was delicious and my, I'm still full from it and after that we went for yarn's sake and it was my first time at for yarn's sake I need to do some investigating I don't know if for yarn's sake is what I'm thinking is I've been to Four Yarns Sake at a different location and this is their new location, but I don't know if that's accurate or not. <laughs> but nonetheless, inside of Four Yarns Sake was really amazing. There was tons of yarn. And after that, we called it a day and we've headed home. And so I am tired. Like that's for me, that's a lot of shopping in one day and a lot of social interactions. <laughs> so I I feel like I need a nap, but we have Kyle, Matilda, and I, we've got other things tonight. Like Matilda's got swim lessons and things like that. So anyway, I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow. So we'll see what happens with this vlog. If this is the end or if there's more yarn stores tomorrow, I'm unsure of what's happening tomorrow. And sort of the hiccup in the plans is that Matilda's four, so she is not vaccinated yet. And so she cannot go inside of the stores at for the Rosie Yarn Crawl. Like those that's the Rosie Yarn Crawl rules. And like I didn't know that until yesterday. <laughs> I'm I'm sure it's on their website and the rules are clear. That that's a me issue. But I didn't know that till yesterday. Um so you know, I'm of course sad about it because I want her to like 
We've always had it like a family thing where Kyle and Matilda and I go together. But also I've been to four yarn stores already, one yesterday and then three today, and that's amazing. So it's possible that this is the end of the roasted yarn crawl. <laughs> but there's also a possibility that tomorrow I may decide to go to a store without Matilda. So time will tell. <laughs> Saturday, February 26th, and we have decided to do one store of the Rose City Yarn Crawl today. Our friend Andrew will arrive at our house at any time. And in typical fashion, we are late. We're always running late. So we have to the bath, like this and that, and we lost track of time. I wound up my yarn, so I bought some yarn on Friday for test knit. And so I wound it up, enjoyed that until I had a bath. Next thing you know, it's like, oh, it's almost 10 a.m. and we're supposed to leave. Original plan was to, I'll go to one store and then go to the zoo. Uh, but I think that I might be meeting up with a podcaster group today. Kaylee from Breaking Bad kind of organized a sit and knit kind of meet up at Deschutes Brewery, I think. So I think I will go meet up with everybody, socialize, and Kyle, Matilda, and Andrew will go to the zoo. I just think it'll be too much between lunch and then knitting for Matilda to sit for hours. So um, I think this is the plan. And I, oh, I think I just forgot to mention this some of the other days. So when you go to the yarn store, you can get a pin. So even if you don't do all eight, so I'm not, you can collect pins for where you did go. So this is from Ritual Dyes. It's a plant, which I think is really appropriate. This one's Naughty Lamb. Oops. And it has like a little sheep which they often have in their logo. This one's Starlight. It's hard to see. It's hard to see the logo on this one, but it's got a very like classic looking logo, which of flowers that's like kind of etched. The, they were selling t-shirts that had a similar sort of logo. Hey, Andrew, why don't you show us your beret? So you're making this? For my mom. It's her Christmas present? It's a couple months past Christmas. Maybe it'll be next oh, Christmas. Oh, so, um, so Christmas 2022. 3, 24, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm... Does your mom watch podcasts? No. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> so Andrew's my friend, but doesn't watch the podcast. Hey, Andrew, um, is this him it? Yeah. Did you make it? Uh, yes. Can you tell us the pattern name? No. Can you say more than one word? No. Sentences? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle, you're a better vlogger here. Um, Andrew took vlogging skills from Kyle. I did. <laughs> um, as someone who never talks. <laughs> yeah, so Kyle, actually Kyle has talked a lot on my vlogs, haven't you, Kyle? Yeah, something. So where are we going, friends? To the yarn crawl. Close knits. Close yeah, knits. close knits. <laughs> <laughs> right. The direction they're taking this anyway. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Uh, <laughs> where we and MJ's got her snacks.
and Daddy got macaroons while we were at the knitting store? Mm -hmm. Daddy, did you have one too? Mm -hmm. Yummy. We got more to share? Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Kyle. All right, right over there is Bollywood. We always eat lunch at Bollywood. And I don't like it. I'm, I have a hard time with change. <laughs> If there's a line out the door, so we are going to figure out a different plan for lunch. But I'm heartbroken. friends what are we doing in line Free. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you know there's some people that come to this um, um, like vacation and so they really need the true Oregon experience with the rain so this is good for them when they're visiting like this one not so much okay but Friday is nice it's really sunny Friday's nice yeah
mine are they do have blue light blockers which is sort of sort of protectant okay so I but here's the thing yesterday I ended up going to seven out of eight of the stores. I mean, I didn't go to seven yesterday, but by the end of yesterday, I had gone to seven out of eight. So there's this like little, it feels like there's this obligation to go to the last stores. So it's, I'm exhausted. It's been a long weekend, but we haven't had this busy of a weekend in a really long time. I'm gonna put this here because it's like wobbling. We, not, we have not had this busy of a weekend in a long time. I also really wanted to go to the um, car show in Portland. Kyle, would you say that the car show is like typically around the Rose City Iron Crawl or not really? The car show is the same time every year. The uh -huh. Okay, so okay, so the, the car show is the same time, but apparently the Rose City Iron Crawl is at a different time this year. So basically. Um, they overlapped. So we're going to the car show, which I wanted to go and Matilda really likes cars too. So we thought it'd be fun. And their rules for getting into the car show are that you have to show your proof of vaccination, but under five is still allowed in without a vaccination. So Matilda will be able to go in, which is different than the Rosie Yard Girl. Although having participated in it, I have to say, it was probably for the best that Matilda didn't go in because there was long lines like in I didn't get much video footage at Northwest Wolves but I feel like there, were, there was a I don't remember how many people were being let inside the store at a time I'm just gonna make up a number and say like six or something and so there was like a long line and so yeah I didn't get much video footage because I think I was thinking like I need to look instead of wasting time because there's people in line and it's cold and raining but I will say about Narcos Wolves one thing that was nice is they had hot cocoa in the line and a tent and umbrellas so that's really nice anyway <laughs> so I would have you know Matilda's not exactly shopping for yarn so she would take it up like a spot so it's like it's probably for the best that she didn't go in um I haven't peopled this hard in a long time, so I, I just want to be warm and cozy at home, but <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go to Weird Sisters now and then go to the car show. I realized I hadn't been talking about any of the sweaters I've been wearing on the Rosie Yarn Crawl, so I'll just mention that. The first day I wore a Soldana, second, on Friday, on Thursday I wore a Soldana, on Friday I wore a love note with no lace, and yesterday I wore a love note, and then today I'm wearing the Kinnikin cardigan made out of mohair so soft and yeah so enjoy the time in the car we like to read books in the back here 